It's Friday again, and I'm here with another video. When you were little, did you ever do the color by numbers? Well, that's whenever you have a number and a key at the bottom of the page that tells you what color to color that square. This is what this looks like. This is a butterfly, and I can see a key at the bottom. So all of the fives should be red, all of the sixes should be blue, and all the sevens should be black. Well, what we're gonna do today in our computer class is we're gonna color by numbers with conditionals in our Google Sheets. What you'll do is you'll open up the Google Sheet. I've already have it formatted for you with 19 rows across and 20 going down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with what's called a conditional. When you do a conditional, you probably want to do it to the whole sheet or columns or rows on that sheet. Well, for us, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the entire sheet. This is probably the most important part of today's video selecting the entire sheet before you do the conditional. Once you have the entire sheet collect, selected, what you'll do is you're gonna to go to Format. And down on Format, we're gonna to go to Conditional Formatting. This opens up a window onto the screen. Now this says on the range A1 through S20, if the cell is not empty, do this. It's kind of like an if-then statement. What we want to do is we want to put it in just like the key for this butterfly at the bottom. Now I'll give you each one of these different papers. You might have the butterfly or you might have something else. Each key is a little bit different, so you have to get yours right. What I want to do is I'm going to go up to my conditionals once again on my spreadsheet. I want to say if the cell is not empty, I want to change that to when the text contains. If the con text contains the number five, what I want that cell to be is red. So I'll choose a nice red here. This is the conditional formatting. The text says five, it's gonna be red. I'm gonna hit done. That's the first rule. Now I wanna add another rule to my spreadsheet. I'm gonna click add new rule. Again, it's gonna apply from everything that I have selected, A1 through 20. If the cell contains the next number, six, I want it to be blue. So I'll change it to blue. I'm going to hit done. I have two rules now, just like in my key. Now I'm going to add one last rule. If the text contains a number seven, it's going to be black. I'm going to hit done. This is the same key that I've seen in my butterfly template. Five is red, six is blue, seven is black. Now, with the sheet that I've given you, what you're going to do is you're going to start filling in those numbers. So I can close my conditional formatting, and what I'll do is I'll start following my direction. So if I put a six in this cell and hit enter, it changes to blue. If I put six again, all right, and I can fill this down. If I know that all of these are sixes, I can do that and it's gonna fill it up all the way down. As long as there's a number in there, then it's gonna to change to blue. If I put a five in one of the cells that needs a five, what's it gonna do? It's gonna change to red. So if I know that these are all reds, I can fill them down with fives. If I go over and I put a seven in, that rule is there. If it's seven, it's gonna be black. This is really cool and it's starting to think about how we're gonna code in the next few weeks in Scratch and also in Alice. What I'll do is I'll pass each one of you one of these uh, templates that you can follow. It might be a butterfly, it might be something else, I don't know. You're gonna set the rules up with under format and conditional formatting. Make sure it matches your key. You might have four, you might have five different keys to put in. Each time you're gonna add a new rule. Once you're done, you're gonna fill in the rule with your pixel art, just like what we've done the last couple weeks. If you have any questions, I'll be around. Good luck.